Hey folks, it's Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. One of the first pieces of equipment that I was introduced to in my kind of fighting martial arts journey was the heavy bag. And my teacher, when he introduced us to it, he said a couple of things. One is that in and of itself, it's it's a good teacher, right? In that it gives you the feedback that you need to... Uh, to let you know whether you are hitting it properly. Um, one is that if you hit it at the wrong angle with your, uh, particularly with your your straight uh, strikes, punches, and, and kicks, if you don't hit it center, if you don't hit it kind of center mass, which is where you want to hit your opponents typically um, when you're sparring, the the bag will spin. So what that that indicates is that you your your targeting was a bit off, right? If if you're if some of your energy is going into making the bag spin, then that's energy that is not going into your opponent um, as as efficiently as as it could. So that was one way that it, it taught you. The second way is that um, if especially in in our style <laughs> starting out. Um, traditional, very hard form of uh, uh, karate, and um, we didn't use pads. We we hit the bag with bare knuckles, and he said, if you don't hit it properly, um, you're gonna get scraped up. You're you're there's it's, it's one thing, of course, to to get conditioning over time. You know, your skin kind of gets used to hitting the leather of the of the bag, but if you hit it at the wrong angle and with the uh, you know the wrong parts of your hand you're going to start getting scraped up and you're going to start seeing blood on your knuckles and that is in and of itself a teacher right so that was that was an interesting uh way to learn <laughs> looking back on it on it now uh definitely not my my current approach as far as as far as teaching it's just that's the way it was uh, back back then but that that always stuck out with me in that this uh, piece of equipment, this heavy bag, um, is is a good teacher for you. Uh, but the second thing he said is that it's also a really good partner for you in that it's always there. It doesn't quit on you. It's always standing. It will take whatever punishment you dish out. And I thought about that. And knowing, you know, what what it's like to, to, to train with somebody and them just going to town on, on me, man, I mean, there are times I, I'm going to quit. Gosh, I was like, I, I get injured or I'm just, I'm exhausted. And I say, you know, I'm, I'm just going to stop, <laughs> right? But the bag, it doesn't do that. You know, it, it's an inanimate object. What can you do? But it's the whole point of it. The whole point of its existence is to make you better. And I found that the more time I spent with the bag, knowing this, knowing that it's it's there to make me better. Um, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if you can relate to this, but like the more kind of uh, affection, I guess, um, the more respect I had for for the bag. Uh, the more I I I learned to really appreciate what it did for me, and you know, to this day, I mean, there's no. There's no way that I can go into the gym and not spend time on the heavy bag. So that was uh, really important to me. But then, you know, I thought about that. I kind of extended that even more into, well, you know, I have training partners that kind of do the exact same thing with me, right? I mean, they're not a heavy bag. I mean, they're absolutely human and all, but they they push me. They make me better. Um, they... You know, they're they're a team member to to me, in that, you know, as much punishment as I'm dishing out to them, they're not quitting. You know, and that's one of the things that that I think, particularly in in, in a martial arts environment, when when you have, um, when you have sparring and 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 you're you're working one on one with each other in a way that you're you're challenging each other, it makes it easy for you to kind of form those bonds to, uh, to 
develop that respect, that affection for each other because you know that you're there trying to help each other get better. And, you know, as I thought more about that over the, you know, over time, one of the things that uh, came to mind was this saying, this idea that I have, um, and you can go to the Everyday Fighter website uh, to see it if you haven't already, um, everydayfighter.me. But it's, uh, the concept is love your opponent. And, you know, it kind of as I ex- extend that idea from the heavy bag to just my sparring slash training partners, I mean, that's something I can extend to somebody in um, any context, really, that they are, they're helping me. They're helping me to get better, right, in their own way. Um, anybody that's standing in front of me is somebody that is giving me an opportunity to improve myself. So my concept of uh, love your opponent it goes as follows, and I'm just going to read it here off the website. So love your opponent for revealing your strengths, for exposing your flaws, for helping you discover what's truly important, what you're made of, who you really are, for taking everything you throw, then asking for more. For standing in front of you, whether solid or unsteady, and asking you to do the same. And when I first wrote that, I I was thinking not just in terms of, you know, training and martial arts, but like, you know, what other areas of my life could I apply this to? You know, I mean, love your opponent, like... Love somebody that is challenging you. Love your wife in in this way. Love your spouse. Love your children. Love your friends, especially when they're giving you this this tough feedback. (laughs) They're tough loved on you. You know, it's 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 feedback. It's revealing something to you, not in a way necessarily that is trying to diminish you. Although that might be their intention. But how are you taking it, right? I could look at the heavy bag. I could look at my uh, my my training partners. Like, wow, they're just they're just taking out their aggressions on me. Or I could look at it like they are here to make me better, right? They're here preparing me for something that is going to come later on that may be even less forgiving, maybe even tougher than what they're giving me. Right now, they're helping to transform me into what I need to be so that I can get to that next level of my life, my evolution, the next step in my journey. So I hope that was helpful, folks. You know, just it's something that has really resonated with me. It's helped me in uh, situations both on and off the mat. And uh, I hope it gives you a little something to think about. This is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. We'll talk to you next time.